Today's Ask Reddit post. Hotel and motel workers of Reddit what's the weirdest thing you've come across in the rooms? Oh boy, this is gonna be a good one. Let's get started. A bathtub full of turnips. Okay. Out of all these responses in this post, most are pretty predictable. This one is truly odd. Oddish. A few years ago I was staying in a remote part of Oregon for work. Staying all by myself. I get up in the morning and go into the bathroom to take a shower. The curtain had been bunched against the wall. I get undressed, turn the water on, and pull the curtain fully across tub. When I do, it exposes a bloody handprint on the white curtain. Scared the living poop out of me, I no part out of there and skip the shower leaving as fast as possible. As I check out I tell the front desk employee about the handprint. She sighs, rolls her eyes and says, probably just some hunter cleaning his kill in the bathtub. They are not supposed to, but they do it all the time. Not a worker, but used to travel for work. Once we were checking into our rooms and me and a cow walker were going to her room. She opened the door and there was two people living in the room. They were prostitutes who were friends with the housekeeper. They were given keys to use empty rooms. So what happened after? Foursome. Been working hotels for almost 20 years. A dead person. Suicide. A safe full of dildos. A briefcase that had if lost. Please mail to the FBI. A half melted ice sculpture for doing shots of a double penis. A couple of guns. A person's dog that they left behind. What was in the briefcase? A golden glow from a halogen light bulb. Dried poop in the bed. Twice and almost a one. Zero 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 miles apart. A stack of porn mags. Back in the 70s. You had to go out in the woods to find those things. Eight is two. Friend's wife runs a mid-priced hotel. She tells stories about what her people have found. Everything from dead bodies in the bed frame. Yup someone murdered their spouse. Wrapped them in plastic. To drugs. Adult toys. So many toys. To stolen cars in the parking lot. Anything you can imagine she has found. Oh just remembered. Cams in room. They have to scan every room now to validate that there are nothing communicating in the room now because of how many they have found. Here I'm feeling like poop because I fell and got a bloody knee and my bandaid came off middle of the night. So I got knee blood on the sheets. Damn. I mean I still feel bad but at least I didn't leave a dead body or a butt plug. A large sack full of pine cones. We do not have any pine trees nearby, so they had to have brought them with. It confuses and haunts me to this day. Some people slash businesses make jewelry out of pine cones sliced up. That cold have been it. Really? I can't exactly picture the jewelry style. Not me. But my wife worked as a night front desk attendant for a very budget hotel. She had some stories. The saddest was a couple who were celebrating their wedding night slash honeymoon at her hotel. They had been drinking at the reception and came in very happy and friendly. The man came back down after couple of hours because he couldn't sleep due to back pain. He talked to my wife for a bit and offered her some cake before heading back to the room. He proceeded to take some of his wife's morphine pills which interacted with the alcohol in his system. His new bride woke up the next morning a widow. Then there was a time when the cleaning ladies found a blow up doll a guess left in the room. One of the ladies was super excited to bring it home to her adult son. That's a good mom. Always find ways to traumatize their kid. My father managed a hotel when I was younger. He came home one day distraught after finding a room with poop everywhere. The guest had poop in all of the pillowcases and smeared it all over the bathroom as well. I remember him saying it looked like a pig had lived in the room for a week. Edit. Spelling. Do they ever go after the guest for stuff like this? Is guest even the right word? That is why you need a credit card on file to rent a hotel room. While working the night audit at a very upscale hotel a known pimp who was previously given a trespass notice 
to never come back to the hotel, somehow got in the building. Around midnight he tried to get upstairs to see his girlfriend and security told him leave or get arrested. Around 4am he came down the main mezzanine staircase dragging a girl down the stairs by her hair. She was only wearing one shoe. It was clicking on the stairs on the way down. They were in one of the very expensive suites adjacent to the presidential suite and owner suite. The person that rented the suite was a VVIP and knew how to use a staff elevator and a back entrance so they wouldn't be seen by the public into or out of the hotel. Some shady stuff went on with that guest getting put on the do not rent list. The VIP had the place booked in someone else's name. The VIP wasn't banned for life. But the person whose name was checked in can't ever rent from the property anymore. An absolutely giant thing of cherry flavored lube. Like I'm talking a ducking massive cooking bowl sized tub of it with a label and all. My friend says someone poop in the bathroom trash can. All over the shower floor. And all over the toilet seat as well as bed sheets. Blood stained sheets and towels. Lot are into coarse toys. Former Motel 6 employee outside of Nala. Dead bodies always bothered me the most. Almost always recently dead not the hidden body trope you always hear about. As far as weirdest I'd say the room covered in smeared butter and syrup. Lee troll piles of empty syrup bottles in the bathroom. What did all these people die from? Mostly arts. Some suicides. And only a few that ended up being determined to be foul play. Had a lady check in early and ask for a leg check out. She still hadn't checked out by 2pm and wouldn't come out of the room. When we were about to have her escorted out she finally left. In the room was one hundreds of little white out bottles everywhere. She had painted every reflective surface with white out including all the plumbing under the sink. All the fixtures. Every screw and had started painting the mirrors. Did you find out why? Former hotel front desk. At a mid-range business hotel, dollar sign 200 plus nightly, we got a frantic call on the radio from housekeeping about a room being nasty. Yeah. It was nasty. Poop thrown on the ceiling. Smeared on the walls. On the floor. The bathroom had poop in the tub. The room was declared a biohazard. We protherized about dollar sign to K on the CC. And a specialty company was brought in to clean it. Customer wasn't even mad when we called them to inform them of the charges and the ban from the property. Edit, let me clarify for those thinking this was explosive diarrhea, the poop wasn't just in the bathroom, most of it was in the living area. A giant pocket knife like one of the Swiss army ones, but it was the size of my arm under a bed. Okay that's kinda awesome. That would definitely go home with me. I worked in a cheap hostel in Lisbon about 10 years ago. We had this very odd guest who'd speak in a super low voice and walk really slowly. He'd also leave random bits of TP around the hostel. Once the cleaning lady found him in his room completely rolled in toiled paper. Clearly an alien disguised as a human. Clearly. Not a worker, stayed at Borgata in Atlantic City, laid down on the bed and stretched my arms up. Reached up and felt something behind the picture over the bed. Someone stuck a well used crack pipe behind the picture in the wall. I had to switch rooms two times at the Borgata. First time room had black mold in the shower and second time the bed was short sheeted lol it was wild. Haven't been back since. But possibly going to act this summer. So we will see if it's better now. We're short sheeted. La 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 I haven't thought about short sheeting beds in years. A live fish in a bathtub. Same year. Different hotel. Fresh bear meat. Twice a hunting season. In Ontario. Canada you have to legally take the bear meat. It was made to prevent trophy hunting. Since most people would only take the hide. I've heard it's pretty gross and a lot of people also won't eat it. Because of what the bear eats. Like their favorite snack is gas cans and tires. You'll see bears with rope hanging out their ass cause they ate some. I've always wondered how much of it gets dumped once they get home. As a guest. Checked into a room in CA. I turn on the wall mounted ACK unit and a dirty needle falls out the bottom. Then we order a card for our kid. We roll it in the room. Open it up. And multiple cockroaches fall out and scurry away. We got our money back and adios immediately. 
a bunch of used condoms stuck to the ceiling. Phallic types in the wild. Well phallic mites would be quite the hazard. A loaded. 45 on the bedside table after checkout. I worked at a resort in northern Minnesota. The guy just left it there after checking out. We had to call him, and he had to drive back to pick it up. When asked he said he was worried about the bears. He was staying in our main lodge building on the second floor which was essentially a hotel. My aunt was a cleaning lady for a nicer hotel for most of her life. She once found 75k in a bag under a pillow. She turned it in. Wow. I don't think I could have turned it in. Did anyone ever claim it? Turned it into the police. It didn't get claimed. They think she interrupted a drug deal. I believe the police department ended up keeping it all. She was more worried someone may come after her. For me it would be about 16 gallons of urine stashed underneath the bed we found while cleaning. It was stored in tons of plastic water bottles varying of different brands like Polish Springs or Dasani. Once I also found 16 severed fingers in a trash can in a guy's room. 16 is your number. This story was told by a housekeeping manager during orientation. An old couple who are regulars would always stay at the hotel every summertime and the lady would always bring her teddy bear. She'd request that the housekeepers make sure to change its outfit daily. Odd indeed for the housekeepers to adhere to those rules. But not until they realized how well this couple would tip and anyone who happened to clean their room for the day would be so lucky. Bear had a name. Forgot what it was. But the staff eventually started greeting it mayo. Sounds like the fable I heard during orientation once. A security guy stumbles in late saying he was delayed talking to us about the importance of not stealing because he just handed a $500 reward to a worker who reported another worker. Turns out they did that shtick to every orientation. Wonder if you'll do the extra task is one of those fables. Or 3 foot dildo with brown stains on it. My personal favorite, I was working front desk at a Howard Johnson's Express Inn, was when one of the housekeepers brought in a mini jar of Mr. Happy's Funtime Petroleum Jelly. Almost pristine. Save for the two finger scoop dug out. Not an employee, but knew a guy who had a drawer in the bottom of the dresser feel stuck, so he pulled it out and found sheets soaked in dried blood shoved under the bottom dresser drawer. Happy cake day. A squash covered in lube, and sheets covered in fesses stuffed in the top of a closet. It was my first day. The ass squash has stayed firmly in my memory even after 10 years. What had you end up doing with the squash? And we talking baterna or acorn? But end nut obviously. I saw this on the short lived smoking gun series on Adult Swim. Hotel maids went to cleaning out a room, only to find that everything in the room had been coated in Vaseline. He'd left behind a bag filled with dozens of empty jars. They charged the damages to his credit card. Apparently he'd done the same thing to other hotels around town. The Vaseline bandit strikes again. What I can't understand is why the duck would you do this? You've got some kind of slippery fetish? I worked in a hotel restaurant that also did room service. I was working during the week of something called Leatherfest and had a few deliveries of food for room service. There were classes happening in the conference rooms that afternoon. And I entered one to bring in a tray. When I opened the door, all eyes in the room turned to me. What I saw was a man with his scrotum stretched and nailed to a board. I had just interrupted a class on the safe way to butterfly a scrotum. Excuse me, what the duck? Not a worker, but I once got a room. Upon entering everything was neat, except there were spots where you could tell someone had only moved the blanket for where they were sleeping. There was a dent in the sheets where you can tell their ass was. The remote was on the nightstand, and on the pillow you could see where their head was. I went down to the check-in area and told them. They went upstairs with me to see what I was talking about, and then they assigned me a new room Lameo. If I were to guess someone in the hotel staff probably decided to take a nap in an unoccupied room. This takes me back. I used to work front desk, and had a very loving girlfriend come meet me for lunch on the regular. 
I'm not a worker at a motel, but I have a relevant story. About 12 years ago my wife and I arrived in Savannah Gat at 11pm to our motel, after driving through a thunderstorm for 3 hours. Exhausted and rest to get some sleep. I grabbed the key from the front desk and headed to room hash 7, while my wife finished the paperwork. I heard noise coming from the room so cautiously opened the door. That was when I found 3 men and 1 woman. Naked with the exception of some random biker gay like vests and boots were in the middle of making a porno. They were all in their 50s and none were lighter than 300 lbs. There were 2 cameras on tripods and the bikers looked to be just went to get into the thick of it. I quickly shut the door once I was no longer in shock. Then ran back to the desk and let them know some people were in our room and the desk clerk set us up in room hash 1. I didn't tell the clerk what I saw. But my wife and I had a great laugh when we were in our room. I hope you didn't go looking for that video. A guy wanking it to gay porn as he told me to enter. Thanks for coming. My coworker eating a cold can of corn with a comically large pink spoon. Also didn't see a can opener with her. So either she was carrying around an open can of corn. Or she found it open in the room. Or it had a pull off top. We didn't work at a hotel. But I once had a boss whose favorite light lunch was a can of green beans. Room temperature. Right out of the can. Fair point lol. Those people are a different breed. Lmao. My wife and I planned a trip to Copenhagen, and I had plenty of extra space in my suitcase, so I asked on their subreddit if anyone wanted anything from America. I got a decent number of requests, and met up with some people to get them their stuff. The others never responded when we got to town, so we just left the stuff in the hotel room. I always wondered what their staff thought coming in and seeing a bunch of American snacks unopened on the desk, but reading these comments it probably didn't seem too crazy. These goddamn Americans can't go anywhere without their spray cheese and pop tits. I worked as a housekeeper for 4 years. And one thing that sticks out is a copy of 50 shades of grey and a dildo in the trash can. That post oh shame hit them hard. Didn't it? Former management at a major hotel in Philly. I was called into a room that was destroyed according to housekeeping. I wasn't expecting what I saw. One hundreds of packages of so daft. Doors off closets. The honor bar absolutely ripped apart. Doors of the hinges. Broken wood cabinets. TV was shattered. We did not call the authorities because the band's management asked for discretion and paid a very large, undisclosed, to me at least, sum of money. The room was a fine the rest of my tenure there, which was admittedly quite short. Glad I'm no longer in that industry. Mr. Sinatra appreciates your discretion. Once checked into this little poop tea motel in Bruton, Alabama, when I turned my my blankets down the pillow rolled over, and under it was an of that high speed chicken feed. High end hotel. Most can only afford a mint. Accidental suicide a meth pipe hidden in the toilet tank a lot of guns an old guy pulling the fire alarm with his dick out BDSM gear slash intercourse toy someone made a paper match a penis out of pages from the book of mormon. A guest took a light bulb from the hallway and used it to smoke crack or something. A decade as a maintenance person, half of that overnight, in one of America's most decadent cities. My worst was an older woman, who was very sweet but didn't have all her faculties. She told me there was a smell in her room. I was able to find its location very quickly as it was so strong. She had put an entire steak and baked potato dinner she ordered from the restaurant several days ago. Looked barely touched too. I managed to grab the plate safely and dispose of it. And even more importantly I didn't gag in front of her. But the smell of rotting meat and potatoes is seared in my brain. I have a friend who has a side job of cleaning hotel rooms. He calls me out of nowhere cackling about how there were two inflatable intercourse dolls in the tub kissing. With one in the middle of the room with a paper saying oh no I've been caught. My wife has worked in hotels, front desk slash audit, for over 30 years. And poop like this makes her think some people do this, just to give hotel employees something to talk about. Bring a black light into a room. The things you see and don't want to see are something else. 
Look up the YouTube series Another Dirty Room. They'd often break out the black light and luminal in many of their episodes. Makes the think of the CSI spoof where they turn on the black light and the lady cop has dried spudge all over her face. They're like oh my god. Sharon. Doesn't quite fit the post. But close enough I hope. In college in 1990 we drove from Boston to Atlantic City. Got in a little after 1. Parked in the Taj. And chatting while waiting for an elevator. My friend still looking back at me. And stepped into the elevator he nearly wiped out slipping on a pool of blood. I can still picture his tan new buck sliding as he did an ear split. But saved himself. Found out later it was a stabbing. Kind of obvious. We had planned on going to a bunch of casinos. But we were afraid to leave the building after that. Been stabbed. Confirmed no buno. Bro, you actually watched the whole video. I'd give you a high five if I was a human. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe for more great content. See you next time.